Hey guys, what's up? You're here with Doug, aka The Real Link, coming at you today with another quick product review, unboxing, and overview video. Today we have a three-tier bamboo and shoe rack made by Chinese company Hyowen. It's available on Amazon.com for about $30. Now keep in mind this is not a sponsored or product review. I bought it by request and I'm simply just reviewing the product should you look at Amazon reviews to hopefully give you some insight should you wish to purchase this particular item. Now that being said, if you'd like to support my channel, you can purchase this bench using the Amazon affiliate link in the video description. So sit back, relax, we're going to unbox this and show you some usage case scenarios. Let's get to it. Once you remove the box out of the Amazon packaging, you'll find a variety of shipping notices and labels, from importing from China, to Vacayville, California, to SETI, Texas, to the final destination. Alright guys, let's unbox this and see how it looks. As we can see here, everything self-recesses into each other, so you can have a very compact, shipped bench, yet have it all assembled together nicely. Now let's get to assembling. Inside this neat little cardboard box, you'll find the included brass hardware, as well as a small Allen and flat wrench to help build the bench. Below the legs and shelving, you'll also find a piece of paper with detailed assembly instructions. A look at the instructions in closer detail. Once you unbox all the fixing hardware, you'll find 8 medium length bolts, 8 washer nuts, 16 screws that have long pointy ends, 16 end cap thimble sized pieces that you screw into, one wrench, and one Allen wrench. In terms of hardware, three fixing tools are required, two of which are supplied with the bench. For the fixing nuts, the long wrench is used. For the small bolts, the Allen wrench is used. For the end cap thimbles, a very large flathead screwdriver is used. For step one, you want to take the four shelf legs and assemble that with the eight flat end bolts, securing them with eight flathead nuts. This is easy to see based on the leg orientation. Once assembled inside the frame, you can see how this will look and you can use the included Allen wrench to tighten them. Once this is complete, assemble the other three legs. Be sure to use the Allen wrench to make sure your legs are tool tight, otherwise they are still quite wobbly. Now with the base complete and the legs decently tight, we can start on the middle and lower shelves. While not an exactly repeatable method for all of my viewers, you can actually get the center shelf to stay in place 
by using a Canon 430EX, EX2, or EX3 flash box on top of the original styrofoam packing material. This puts the top shelf bolt center line aligned to the middle shelf bolt center line lined up at about 7 and 7 eighths inches or 20 centimeters. But at least it lets you visually see this now in video without having to hold the shelf in place on camera. Use the eight pointed tip bolts along with the eight caps to fill in the top of the shelf to complete this section. The next step is to assemble the middle and lower shelves using the spike tip bolts and the threaded thimble bolts. This is where a flathead screwdriver comes in handy. Next up is to use the threaded cylinders along with the spike bolts and make sure that the flathead groove aligns with the threading of the bolt. Drop each of these into the eight holes in the bottom of the shelf and use the flathead screwdriver to realign them if necessary. Thread the bolt into the cylinder and tighten it with the Allen wrench. Repeat the same step for the other seven bolts for the middle shelf section. With assembly of one shelf complete, Simply repeat the process for the second lower shelf, and the entire assembly will be completed. With the bench completed, we can also take some measurements, and as always, I'll include imperial and metric numbers for my viewers. We have 27 inches, about 68.6 centimeters wide, 11 inches, or about 28 centimeters deep, and 17 and 3 quarter inches, or about 45.1 centimeters high. All right guys, this shoe bench and rack is complete. Let's look at some use case scenarios. Hey guys, that about wraps it up. Thanks for looking at this video with an overview, unboxing, assembly, and use case scenario for the Heinewin 3-tier bamboo and shoe rack. So what are my overall thoughts on this bamboo rack? Is it really value for the money? I'm going to rate this 4 or 5 stars. Most of the edges on the bench are smooth and the standing looks great in rich brown. The brass hardware is very distinct. However, some straight edges are still prone to splinters and cracking based on bamboo, so that could be lacquered or sanded a little bit better. Another important feature is, as you could see from the prior images, you can use the bench for quite a wide variety of items, including home decor, pets, or just general tools and items. While we didn't do a conclusive thorough weight test, it seems to hold about 30 pounds or 14 kilograms. So it's not a bench I'd sit on, but just for having shoes and items, it works well. The standing overall looks nice as well on the bench, however with a couple months of heavy use, or maybe a year or so, it will fade and scratch up. So it's not the most durable long-term item, but again, for the price you can't really go wrong. So guys, I hope you found this video helpful, informative, and insightful. Again, if you'd like to consider a purchase and support the channel, please use the Amazon affiliate link located in the video description below.
And as always, guys, feel free to browse my channel playlists for a wide variety of other video content. Like and subscribe for more, and thanks for watching.